Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with the me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving our loud in our life, our money and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated, my honey bunnies, and a major shout out to all the channel members, as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support, my loves. So we are getting into, this is the 1221 Butterfly Effect Spirit, just say it. So this is going to be an angel number and butterfly effect video, okay? Um, oh, okay. So the energy that I was getting when I saw 1221 earlier today, um, it was a go where you are celebrated and not tolerated energy, okay? Go where you are celebrated and not where you are tolerated. I feel like a lot of people in the collective are currently in the space where you are learning how to fully connect with yourself, okay? Some of you all may have been trying to make different relationships and friendships work that just wasn't fitting for you, okay? And you're being called to find um, a space where you feel like you can really be yourself and evolve in and pull your energy back from those spaces that drain you. Pull yourself back from those spaces that have a hard time seeing you for you and who you are, okay? That is the strong energy when we look at this right now with this 1221. So I'm breaking down um, the numerology of 1221. 12 is a number of spiritual authority. It's mixed up with a one and a two. One deals with action, individualism, okay, initiation. Two is partnership, balance, okay, connection. Then we look at the 21. 21, it made me think of the sense of just being legal, right? Because now you're putting the two in front of the one so the connection goes before the person and so spirit has you in the energy of spirit wants you to be in that 12 energy right now okay and in that 12 energy is like you're the main character aspect and you control that divine power right divine authority you control the spaces that you're in and the spaces that you give your energy to okay i feel like a lot of you are just finding what's best for you so we're starting you off with a spiritualist foot card. You have gossip dies when it hits wise ears. Here's how to get wise. Refuse to hear stories that aren't yours to hear. Refrain from telling stories that aren't yours to tell. If someone comes at you with an, oh my God, did you hear about? Stop them right there and ask if it's gossip, rumor, dirt, or other such junk. This tends to kill everyone's shit talking boner. Okay. Um, some of you all may have been around someone who was gossiping about a person that you know, okay? And so this message could be also the sense of a message for like understanding how people around you move and operate, okay? So you may have a friend or a family member where other people aren't really celebrating them and you know that there's other people kind of like talking about them. Yeah, devil at the bottom of the deck. It's like you may know someone ain't really all that. They ain't all the shit, okay? They talk about everybody. And you may be around these people or this person. My ears just started ringing. In a setting, okay? It's a difference between talking through and processing something that happens versus like gossiping, sharing people information and you know, all of that, you know, that's that's a little that's a little different right there, okay? And it's giving a sense of you really don't want to be around people who gossip about other people. Yeah, three of this with the six of wands coming out. Don't they look like they sitting around just talking, eating, gossiping, having a good old time, okay? This could be people that you work with. And what Spirit is telling me is that these people who come to you with this stuff, like they're the ones who would be talking about you too behind your back though. And that's why this energy of go where you are celebrated and not tolerated is coming out, okay? Because you may be finding that someone around you tolerates you and they don't really mess with you like that, like that. And the way you can kind of tell is like, watch like the things that they acknowledge about you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It would, so for example, it would bother me how I would have, you know, when I was on Facebook and stuff, um, I would have like friends who would, you know, literally I would post things, right? 
And we all understand that engagement matters when it comes to social media and things of that nature. And I would be like, why is no one engaging with my stuff? But then people, some people will just like send me screenshots or send me a comment and stuff to my messages about what I had posted. And I'm just like, why you didn't interact with the post? But you see them interacting with other people's stuff, right? And so that makes you kind of question, what is that person's energy around you? Do they just tolerate you? Or do they really celebrate you? Because people who celebrate you, they celebrate you, okay? It's not a, they they do it in private. They do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm, I'm you're good. they're going to support you, okay? And it's not going to be a private type of support is what I'm getting, okay? And so that would bother me. Y'all just saw the seven of swords. That would bother me. Um, and part of me would be like, dang, do you not want me to get the engagement? So is that why you're doing it? Like, I don't know. That would bother me. Which is why I just end up getting off social media in general, off Facebook. I log back into my Instagram, but I don't use it, okay? Baby, I'm doing a whole reading right now. You want to wait. And so it's just giving this space of... Um, watch out for how people react to you and how they react to other people. How do they engage... What do they do? What do they not do? Okay. That's going to show you a lot about a person. That's going to show you a lot about a person. It's different between the person just venting about something that's going on and them intentionally coming to just talk, talk shit about a person. You know what I'm saying? And you want to watch that. You don't really want to be around that type of space, but you also don't want to read around the people who they don't really show up for you in certain areas where they, where you need it. And like you mentioned it and said it, but you see they show up for other people in different ways too. And so you got the moon card that's coming out. Yeah, because it just means that it's ulterior feelings and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, when that happens, it means that they have some ulterior motives, some ulterior feelings. This is Pisces energy. As well as um, some cancer energy as well. Okay. But in general, with the moon energy, it's just dealing with things that are below the surface, hidden feelings and things of that nature. And most times... When people don't really be celebrating you like that or whatever, and they claim like they're, you know, certain things, it's like, it's a secret animosity there. It's a secret feeling there with this moon energy. It's some things that's not being addressed or said within them. And it's like, that's not an energy that you need to give most of your time to. That's not the energy that you need to give most of your space to, okay? That's not who you want to share your bread with who you want to commune with because while you're sharing your bread communing with them then you have this six of wands energy it's like but it's hidden feelings and animosity and things that you don't quite see okay what's up with this love you have follow your dreams and love that's coming out so it's giving me a vibe that you have a space or a community of a space or people around you or you're going to walk into this space but i feel like a lot of you all do have people around you that enable you to like fully be yourself and they allow you to be yourself to um celebrate you or celebrate yourself or what you're doing or you know it could also when looking at this card it could be they just sitting around you know having a nice little talk and chat okay communing You have the death card. Uh-uh. It's saying it got an end. Yeah, with the with the Prince of Swords. This is social media. This could be like following someone. This could be learning. This could be someone gathering information about you. Okay. It could be a lot of different things that come in with this. But I would say, honestly, you need to end some level of communication. Okay. With this death card and the transformation, then Prince of Swords coming out. Um Something needs to end quick is what I'm getting, okay? And it's the energies of you don't have time to be around certain things anymore, okay? You are expanding. You are growing. You are becoming the person that you have always wanted to be. Why keep energies around you that don't really support the things that you do or they have pity on what you're doing or what you're creating or you know what i'm saying who really want people around them who have pity 
You want people around you who like fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? You want people around you who fuck with you. No one wants friends who gossip about the other friend with each other. And then when y'all around, it's a different situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd have been through all of that, okay? And was like, uh, I'm going to exit stage love. I don't really want y'all to know what I'm doing with my life. Because it's like, you're not really aligned with my life anyway. So why would I spend all of my time chatting and talking about these things? But you're not a part of like it just doesn't match up you know what i'm saying and we can communicate with her about certain things now can you have friends that don't do the same thing you do yes yes you can but it's different when they talk and things of that nature and you know that this person is messy about other people you know what i'm saying you you want to watch that you want to watch that and we can know that within ourselves too like I've been a messy person before too, so I know what it is. But the sense of talking about then another friend, like when I found myself doing that, I realized I needed to just leave the relationships, okay? Like I realized I needed to leave the relationships. Like why am I friends with someone who irritates my soul, right? But you have some people who will keep a friend around for what may be able to come from that friendship in the future. And so they kind of keep them hanging around. They tolerate you, okay? They tolerate your energy. They don't really celebrate your energy, but they tolerate your energy, okay? And you gotta figure out what works for you, what you want for you. Do you want people around you who tolerate you? Or do you want people around you who are authentically invested in the person that you are now and what you're working towards. You know, there's a difference. It's a difference. I give myself permission to switch off my mind and have some fun. So don't think too much about this. As a reminder, these messages are for affirmation and confirmation and not for speculation and creation. So take what resonates with you and leave what does not resonate for who it belongs to, okay? And it's just giving a vibe of you are learning how to identify how to handle your time with people, okay? Everyone doesn't deserve all your time. Okay, bloves? But that's the vibe. Um, I thank you all for being here. I really don't feel I have to pull any more cards. Spirit ain't telling me. And I feel like if I pull more cards, it's just me trying to make the reading longer. And it's like, why? Okay. But I appreciate you all for being here. If it resonated with you, um, just leave me an emoji that represents how you feel. Leave an emoji that represents how you feel. Okay. And as always, always be real. Always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Peace. Period. If you are interested in joining the Butterfly Collective and the membership programs, check out the links and things down below, as well as my Amazon store, which has all of my books and all of the card decks and things that nature of what I use, as well as my published books and journals, okay, including the Zodiac journals. So feel free to check that out down below in the comments. And as always, my butterflies, continue to bloom.